What's up everybody? This will be a tutorial on how to make a application in Visual Basic that will fill out forms for you such as logging into Gmail. So go ahead and start a new project, a Windows form project, and add in two buttons and a web browser like so. And click on the web browser so it's selected. You can see uh, in the lower right hand corner that your web browser is selected and what I did there was I clicked the arrow in the corner of the web browser and made it so that it's not fixed then set the URL of your web browser to be www.gmail.com and start your program to see if it works and as you can see we're now at Gmail so let's get to programming it so just go ahead and arrange your buttons however you would like name one of the buttons log in and name one of the other buttons sign out now double click on your login button and just copy my code on this you want to do web browser one dot document dot get element by ID and now you're going to want to open an actual web browser like Firefox or Chrome or whatever you use and inspect the element of the username form and that's going to give you an ID in this case the ID is email so you're going to copy that and you're going to put it into your quotes for your get element by ID then you're going to set it so that when you find that ID it changes the value to your account name uh, which in this uh, tutorial you would change the xxxxxxx to your uh, account name. So we just opened up the program and tested it and it worked. So now we're going to do the exact same thing for password uh, except you're going to be changing the element ID to password which is as you can see you can inspect it and you see the input ID is PASSWD for password. Set it there test your program once again you can see it fills out both forms now we need to make your login button work which is the exact same thing but you're just going to make it click instead of set a uh, value into one of those boxes so now you're gonna write out the same code you were you're going to inspect the element of your sign in button which is sign in as you can see set it into your quotes and type in invoke member and in parentheses and quotes put click and that will click the sign in button for you you can see here when I click it it'll fail because my credentials are wrong but if they were correct you would log in and you would be checking your mail right now okay so now we're going to be setting our sign out button so double click on button 2 to open up this panel and I already have this code set so you can just copy it I did not want you guys to see inside of my email account to get to it but if you insist on finding out how to do it on your own it's the same thing as finding the ID for your email password and sign in buttons you just get the ID of the, of the logout button which is GB underscore 71 so now when you click that it will log you out of your program and that's well it'll log you out of your email so that's all you gotta do um, just switch out the X's that I'm using for the username and password to your own sign-in credentials and you will be able to log in